This video shows a successful attack by Ukrainian forces, during which they managed to capture Russian fortified positions. The Russians dug in these trenches but soon ran out of ammunition. The Ukrainian forces quickly decided to seize the opportunity to attack them. The Ukrainians used at least three Soviet-made tanks and five armored vehicles to transport infantry. Notice that there is only one tank on the Russian side, and it seems to be confused. Perhaps the Russians decided that they had no chance of repelling the attack of the superior Ukrainian forces and decided to retreat. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian tanks are suppressing the remnants of the resistance from the Russian fighters in the trenches. After this, the Ukrainian infantry began to disembark and approach the trenches. The Ukrainian soldiers bravely entered the enemy trenches and captured them without any losses. This place will now serve as a foothold for future Ukrainian attacks. But do you remember the Russian tank that was covering the Russian soldiers? The tank crew decided not to engage in the fight and quietly retreated. However, one of the Ukrainian tanks started to chasing it. It is not exactly clear how, but the Ukrainian tank somehow managed to get within about 20 meters of the Russian tank. Look, the two tanks are separated by just a narrow strip of trees. In this video, we see the Ukrainian tank firing point blank at the Russian tank. Moments later, it fires again. It's interesting to see what happened to the Russian tank after being hit by two precise shots. Fortunately, we have footage from another drone that shows just how powerful those two shots were. Take a look. That was the first shot. And here comes another one. I'm absolutely certain that even though the tank didn't explode, it is completely destroyed and unfit for further use. The fate of the crew remains unknown. After completing its mission, the Ukrainian tank began to slowly retreat to avoid detection by Russian reconnaissance. Now, I want to show you how courageous Ukrainian tank crews are. Take a look at this incident. The Russians hit a Ukrainian tank while it was on a combat mission. The tank caught fire, but the Ukrainian crew did not abandon it, unlike what the Russians typically do. One crew member climbed out of the tank to inspect the damage, even though it was very dangerous. Then he quickly grabbed a fire extinguisher and successfully put out the fire. This tank was able to return home and was subsequently repaired. As a result, this brave guy saved the tank and the rest of the crew. We also have footage of another fatal duel. This Russian tank on the edge of the village engaged in battle with a Ukrainian tank. We see the Russian tank firing towards the Ukrainian tank. However, the shell likely missed. In response, the Ukrainian tank fires back at the Russian tank and hits it directly. From the incoming shell, the Russian tank immediately exploded and was completely destroyed. Then the Ukrainian tank left the battlefield. Now, take a look at this video. This is probably the most epic tank duel of the entire war. We see one tank moving forward while the second tank is in ambush. At one moment, the second tank delivers a crushing blow to the first tank. As a result, the first tank was destroyed. Unfortunately, it is unknown which side the first and second tanks belong to. If you have any ideas, please write them down in the comments. And now, take a look at two more incidents. This Russian tank was attacking Ukrainian fortified positions, but the tank crew did not know that a Ukrainian tank was hidden among the trees. As a result, at one point, 
the Russian tank was hit by a tank shell. In the second video, the Russian tank was stopped and abandoned by its crew. However, the Ukrainian tank fired another shot to finish it off, and the tank exploded. We see a precise hit on the Russian tank and then the result of this hit. The tank was completely destroyed. Yep. Another duel occurred last winter. A Ukrainian tank spotted an approaching Russian tank and fired at it. The Russian tank didn't have time to respond. Then the Ukrainian tank fired again, hitting the target precisely. From another camera, we see a clear hit on the Russian tank. After that, the Ukrainian tank safely returned to the rear. Now watch the operation of this Russian tank and how its mission ended. The tank crew was tasked with destroying a Ukrainian fortified position so that infantry could then storm it. The tank got very close to the Ukrainians and started firing at them. However, the Ukrainians didn't panic and launched two FPV drones against the Russian tank. The first drone missed, possibly due to the tank having an electronic warfare system installed. But the second drone significantly damaged the Russian tank. After that, the Russians fired a few more shots and abandoned the tank on the battlefield without completing their mission. They hid among the trees and filmed their tank. Meanwhile, a third Ukrainian FPV drone precisely hit the Russian tank in its most vulnerable spot. Thus ended the mission of the Russian tank and its crew. We also have video footage from the Ukrainian side. Together, it looks epic. The story of this tank and its crew seems dramatic. The Russians were firing towards Ukrainian positions, but then suddenly, they noticed an approaching Ukrainian FPV drone and quickly abandoned their tank hiding in the bushes. However, an artillery shell hit them, while the tank remained intact. This Ukrainian tank was tasked with shelling Russian positions. The tank got to the required distance and began firing at all the bushes. Later, it turned out that it managed to hit two Russian tanks one of which was completely destroyed. But Ukrainian tank crews are not eager to get close to the enemy in Soviet-made tanks, knowing how vulnerable they are. In this video, you can see one such tank approaching the Russians within a few dozen meters. However, doing so is very dangerous. The Russians can use anti-tank grenades and easily damage the tank. If the tank does not have additional protection, it can easily explode. Even the lightest anti-tank weapons can destroy a Soviet-designed tank. Sometimes the Ukrainians get lucky, and the grenades fly past, right over their heads. Therefore, Ukrainian soldiers use old tanks very carefully. The most justified tactic looks like this. The tank moves to a combat position somewhere in the bushes or between trees, fires towards the enemy, and then quickly retreats. During the retreat, the tank keeps its turret facing the enemy to be ready to fire. It can also cover itself with a smoke screen. Overall, we have seen very few duels between Russian and Ukrainian tanks, as such tank-to-tank -tank confrontations are not effective. Anti-tank missiles like the Ukrainian Stugna handle this much better. And of course, 
the best tank killer is the American Javelin FGM-148. This is the weapon with which Ukrainians have destroyed thousands of Russian tanks over the past two and a half years. The truth is that tank duels are a thing of the past and we may never see them again. Pitting tank against tank is the most ineffective tactic. Another reason is that the so-called Ukrainian tanks are tanks of Soviet production. In other words, they are the same tanks that Russia uses. Ukrainian soldiers often refuse to use these tanks because they are absolutely unsafe for the crews. You know yourself how these tanks explode from the slightest hit. Sometimes it even seems that a Russian tank is just a big barrel of gunpowder. Watch this video. A Ukrainian tank attacks Russian positions but accidentally runs over a mine. It's very sad. Unfortunately, Ukraine's Western allies have not provided Ukraine with a sufficient number of modern tanks, like Abrams and Leopard. Western tanks are far from perfect, but they have a key advantage, preserving the lives of the crew. A Leopard tank can be damaged, but it cannot be blown up. The crew can easily leave the tank and escape. The Russians are trying in every way to improve the protection of their tanks by creating so-called turtle tanks. The very first turtle tanks were ineffective, and their turrets couldn't rotate. Now the Russians are trying to create such protection for the tank so that it can freely rotate its turret. But no matter how well protected Russian tanks are, the Ukrainians always find a way to destroy them. Now take a close look at this monster tank. The Russian state television channel made an entire feature about this tank, highlighting its advantages. The feature especially emphasized the tank's powerful armor and its super-efficient demining system. Ironically, on the same day, this very tank hit a mine and was then destroyed by Ukrainian FPV drones. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. This will motivate me to continue creating new videos for you.